Dirt Road is a collection of nine instrumental tracks, which, as the song titles vaguely imply, are about a journey through the American West, with the traveling aspect meant to be seen in a, in a much broader context. The first track on the album is called Godspeed. It has a bit poppy style and uh, so common chord sequences as suggest that coming tracks will seek new paths. In Dirt Rock, I wanted to combine different groups of instruments. Orchestral, traditional rock, and since part of the music clearly has its roots in 70s progressive rock, authentic analog synthesizer. Michael and I wanted a modern sounding production. Modern in the sense of drum sound and bass sound, and also in the highlighting of independent voices and counterpoint in a harmonically quite dense and occasionally bitonal context. The music is rather carefully notated, with the exception of some guitar solos and drum playing, which I believe must sort of embody the, the mystic quality of, of the unexpected. As a conductor, interpreting the works of others, it's pretty exciting to see how musicians from other fields react and respond on their own works. Anything from carefully considered analysis to a very intuitive approach. The title song on Dirt Road, surprisingly called Dirt Road, is written in a rondo form in which the main theme, though seemingly powerful and, and uh, self-assured, goes like... However, as you can hear, it has difficulties in finding a firm tonal center which opens for a variety of contrasting themes and time signatures. The climax of the song is also meant as a climax for the album as a whole. A sort of catharsis which demands that the following track takes on a completely different character.
The song is called Han, a Korean word which has no literal English translation. It's a state of mind, of soul really, a sadness, a sadness so deep no tears will come, and yet still there's hope. I wanted the last track to represent a, a burst of energy, of that unique energy that I believe only can be found in certain types of rock music. Towards the end of the track comes a brief encounter with a rare instrument, actually one of the predecessors of the today's synthesizers. It's called a theremin. And the theremin has a haunting, almost memories of another live sound. The theme played by the theremin is actually a reminiscence of the Godspeed theme. Or, as one of my favorite rock poets put it, nothing is different, but everything's changed. Mm -hmm. 